After initially heading to the upper lee and finding it too low, we had to leave in Canyon instead. With this being Ken's first pack rafting trip with us, I think already he's starting to question our sanity. A couple of us opt to abseil off the bridge, but unfortunately, Todd's pack raft isn't attached properly. It's a nasty hole that one. That's a keeper. There are some extremely nasty sieves in this area and we need to be really careful about everyone's safety. Yeah, good one. Although we managed to retrieve the pack raft, the floor gets washed down and we managed to lasso it but in the process snag a rope, eventually freeing it. Well done, Oitsi! Yoo-hoo! Now I'll be able to surf mat down the river. Although the river is super low, the gorge deepens and widens out, making for a really impressive backdrop and some really fun rapids. This two and a half metre drop has a really nasty sieve at the bottom of it that's hidden at higher flows. We get to the first of the two main waterfalls and opt to down climb and jump off rather than to abseil. <laughs> After having lunch above the main falls, three of the team abseil down while the remaining two opt to do a final jump. In the meantime though, a sudden wind gust blows two of the pack rafts into the main current over the falls. We throw our overnight packs off the 15 metre falls only to suffer the consequences of a few broken items. See you on the flip side.
Occasionally we need to get out of our boats due to the shallow rapids, but surprisingly not too often in the lower sections. One of the great things about pack rafting is that it's relatively easy to carry overnight gear, so it's great to be able to camp out beside the river and take our time.